Hi everyone, I've actually got the camera around the right way this morning. I was just checking you can see what I'm going to do because I've taped it down and now it's in the wrong place. <laughs> right, there we go. Let me just get the chat up so I can see everybody. Oh, let's not go away, not that one. To watch a video. <laughs> Hi, everybody. <laughs> oh, Cyril's barking. I've put a link up. Well, actually, I can do the chat. <laughs> I figured something out today. Aren't they clever? <laughs> Let me skip the ad and then I can say hello to everybody. Um, Hi, Priscilla. Hi, Kerry. Hi Harmony, hi Menly, hi Jill, hi Denise, hi Joe, hi Cheryl, hi everybody, right, <laughs> yeah I got fancy, <laughs> I do like that expression, <laughs> I'm so fancy. <laughs> so now I can say, oh, if you want links to my shop and my PayPal, they're at the top of the chat. Well, near the top of the chat. <laughs> oh no, this isn't my hogweed. No, this one's. This one isn't um, the giant hogweed kind. I'm going to paint. I'm going to paint the nice hogweed. I've got it in my garden. The nice hogweed. I did have a nasty hogweed. Um, in my garden and it was taken down a few weeks back but now I'm having now I'm painting I, I, I've got some <laughs> hang on a minute I'll go and get some I'll just put it, oh, my microphone down there two seconds Just microphone back. I'm back. So good. I should have got this out to begin with, really, shouldn't I? It's on my dining room table. Um, right. This <laughs> it won't all fit in. This is giant, not giant hogweed. This is normal hogweed, and it's beautiful. The giant one. I still, guys, oh, does smell like the giant hogweed when we chopped it down. But the giant hogweed is. Um, has photosynthesis, well, I can't say it, has photosynth, oh, you know, the, the sap, that if it gets on you, it burns you because it reacts with the sun and you end up with horrible burns on it. So I had one growing in my garden and it was horrible. It was so big. I was quite excited about it because I like giant plants. My garden's big enough for it, but it's growing right by my strawberry patch. So it had to go. <laughs> Anybody think there's clean water? No clean water, sorry. <laughs> Forgot about that one. Right, I just wanted to show you these uh, paintings that um, <laughs> I put up on Etsy yesterday, I think. So I've, I did this little house on a hill. House on a hill? House one. It's that one. That one's up. I put my dragonfly, I'm getting strangled by my mic, I put my dragonflies up and I put my feathers, feathers up, these ones you've seen, I've got hogweed over them now, um, this is um, like an abstract poppy with like dandelions as well, that's up, oh this is what we're going to paint today, sort of, but a smaller one. This is on that candy paper. I'm doing my this one on one I'm going to paint now on candy paper as well. The handmade. It's really thick. You can do like the. I was going to say Ralph Harris, but we don't want to talk about him, do we? 
the light. Can you tell what it is yet? Queen, it does on this wibbly wobbly board. <laughs> now, Queen Anne's lace is um, different. It grows and it like opens up like this and then comes out. It's a very similar plant, but it's different. Hogweed's different to Queen Anne's lace. And you can also get, um, well, I've got some <laughs> other stuff is cow parsley, whatever you call it. That's not hogweed. Um, that looks like hogweed as well. And also um, hemlock. I've got some hemlock. That's poisonous as well, but that's grown by my pond. And that looks like the hogweed too. So don't get them muddled up. <laughs> yeah, so we're going to be painting this later on this handmade candy, candy, caddy, candy paper. It's really, really thick. And, um, and I also did put this one up. I had a painting session yesterday and I painted lots. This is a uh, watercolour seascape that we did. You can see like the pool of the water here. And it's just nice and the sun shining through. That's up, that's on the caddy paper as well, really thick stuff. And I did this abstract one. That's up for sale. <laughs> Hi, Mark. Hi, Kate. I didn't say hi to you. <laughs> um, this one's for sale too, and I've just I'm going to put a video. I've videoed myself painting this one, so there'll be a video of this one too. It's like a house in the winter sort of thing on a hill, snowy, landscapey thing. <laughs> and what I did yesterday, which is this one. And I also put this one up as well, but that one's sold already. Thank you. <laughs> so there we go. So I, oh look, I'm so organised this morning. <laughs> so we're going to paint like the um, my hogweed painting. Let me get it back so you can see again. Oh, get off. So this is what we're going to paint. So I've started off by um, keeping that there for sort of inspiration. I started off by using um, this masking fluid pen, so I've drawn it, sort of drawn it out. This is um, it's a liquid pump marker by Graphix. There's a small Molotto <laughs> pen. So, and it's quite easy to use and then I just dot it on the paper. But the only thing about this caddy paper that I found yesterday when I was painting that other one is it doesn't like to come off but where well, it comes off but it pulls the paper up as well so I'll be using my um, magic eraser thank you Joe Lewis <laughs> gifted me that and it's on the thick caddy handmade paper it's really thick and I've taped it down don't anybody complain about my tape Somebody complained about my tape that I had on my painting. I was just like, oh gosh, really? I like my tape. I like using it. Okay. You don't have to use it. Is it distracting? So what? <laughs> right. Dirty water. Um, paintbrush. I, I use my um, big brush for this, which is a Princeton Neptune uh, it's, it's a mixture of synthetic and natural hair and it's a number 18 and it's got that funny smell to it <laughs> hi eddie <laughs> so if i haven't said hello to everybody i think i'd sort of said hello to most people <laughs> There, so, um, there, and um, I've used, oh, I haven't used, I've got, um, I'm going to need some more. I've got some Slate Blue PH Martins Radiant Watercolour here, mixed in with all my Daniel Smith ones that I usually have on my palette. And I'm also going to use some of this um, Dr. PH Martins Hydrus Watercolour in Indian red, which is my favourite, and I need more of it. So I'm just, look, it's nearly empty. 
Ah, oh, thank you, Kerry's husband. I I hate my laugh. I just don't get a giggle. <laughs> oh, stop it! When I when I listen back, I'm like, oh God, how can I stop myself from doing that? <laughs> it's really off putting. I'll probably use some of that black drawing ink as well, but I can't find it. It was here somewhere. And I'm using some white ink too. This is just calligraphy ink. Oh, there it is. It's over there. I've got some black drawing ink, which is any old black drawing ink will do. So, and I'm going to be using um, quinacridone yellow, which is in here. I might squirt a bit more in because I've made it green. And I'll also be using my blues, which is cobalt blue by Mission, which is a really bright blue, but I'm not sure. I'll see. Squirt, squirt. <laughs> I've just put the hogweed over all my colours and now I can't see. I need some more. I really need to tidy up my studio. I'm going to stick a bit more quinacridone gold in there because I know I'll be using lots of that. And I'm going to stick some moon glow. No, this is Bloodstone Genuine by PA. No. Daniel Smith. I'll stick it over there. That can mix in with that slate, which will give a nice colour. And I'm also, I did want some Moon Glow, which is the real nice purpley one. Oh, get out. It's coming to the end. I'm going to have to be chopping my tubes up. When I get to this stage where they're almost empty, if you cut along the end and then along the edge, you've like got loads more watercolour in there. <coughs> Excuse me for coughing. Right, I'm going to start off by um, oh, sorry, I'm just reading the chat. I don't know what you're going on about. I've lost something there. <laughs> What's the zoom of it? This is clean water, lovely clean water, and I'm just splodging it in. Oh, I've got to remember that I'm not doing a big. It's not big, is it, today? <laughs> it's a smaller painting. So I'm just, this paper soaks in so much paper. It takes so long to dry. So I'm, I might not be able to um, rub out the um, masking fluid today, but I'll do the background and that's for sure. Because I can't rub off the masking fluid until it's completely dry. Maybe tomorrow morning I'll finish it off. Oh, Eddie's in the fizzy drinks industry. Cool. I like a bit of fizzy drinks. Or fizzy pop. They call it here. So I'm just dropping in. This is the slate blue moon glow. And I'm not sure. <laughs> and the other one I put in. What was it? You know, that one. The other Daniel Smith one. So I'm just dropping it. Dropping it in. I want it really dark sort of up here around this bit and this paper is going to dry so much lighter now this is my um, Indian red just the bits I'm just putting bits in little bits and then I'm going to mix in some quinacridone yellow gold which has got um, other colours in because I don't rinse my brush between that. <laughs> Just pick a bit of colour up from there. Splishy splosh. This is a bit like the other backgrounds we're doing. And I'm also going to use some bleach. Stick some bleach in. Blob blob. I think I need to refill this. And I'm also going to add some alcohol drops in. These always turn out different every time we do them. Oh, I'm just squirting it on my finger because it's easier to control. Because if I do it right out the bottle, it's, it's like that. It's quite big. Now, I've got to be careful because where I've put the alcohol, sometimes the masking fluid doesn't come off. <laughs> and I'm also going to sprinkle some salt. 
If I got it. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, one day I'll just have to ch just have to chat <laughs> and not paint. <laughs> That'd be cool. And because this um, candy paper um, soaks up the paint so much, you can't blot out very well. So if you're used to blotting like me, you have to keep that in mind. There's something that I forget about. That's why I like the um, other papers, because you can lift off a lot. But lots of people don't blot, but I do. I'm a blotter. <laughs> Mr. Blotter likes to come out. Mr. Blotting. <laughs> yes, splishy splosh, official term, and flippy floppy. <laughs> and you can see it's starting to get lighter already, and I'm going... I like just to keep adding colours here and there, <laughs> especially up here where I want it really dark in this corner for some reason, just here, it needs to be really dark because when I rub off the um, masking fluid it's going to be white-ish, so we've got a bit in there. And I've sprinkled some salt on there. I'm just going to add some more salt because you can't have enough salt. Sometimes it doesn't work. <laughs> right, now I've got my wibbly wobbly brush, as I call it, which is a small pro art sword brush. And I'm going to do some, I don't know if it's going to work actually, it's a bit, a bit wet still. Let me, let me just do some blotting. I wouldn't normally do this now, but I want to. I don't want to put a hairdryer or anything on it because. I like to get, let the paper soak up all the all the paint and the pigment, and it just gives a nice effect. Now I've got my um, black ink. It's probably not going to work because it's going to splodge everywhere. But I want to do some yeah, thoughts here. It's too wet, but it's all right. I'm going to do some. Why oh, am I breathing so heavily? <laughs> I'm going to do some silhouette. That's what I was looking for. Word. Silhouette um, things in, this, in silhouette. <laughs> Stalks and stems with my wibbly wobbly brush. <laughs> yeah, blobs, splodges, thingy me doodars. Doing lots of I'm going I will have to um rub off the masking fluid in tomorrow's video. Do 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 <laughs> yeah. because I'm gonna have to leave it like that. So tomorrow I'm going to come back and um, take the masking fluid off for you. I'll just unstick this from the table. So it should stay quite flat. And I'll put it somewhere to dry. It's going to take forever to dry, I can see. And I can't take the masking fluid off until it's dry. Otherwise, I'll have a big mess. <laughs> A big, big mess. Let me just pull it off of here. Oh, no, I don't want that to happen. Stay there. I'm so, so exact, aren't I? I'm precise about everything. Right, I'm going to stick that over there. <laughs> to, um, I'm going to stick it on the floor because I can't reach anything. My dog would probably come and tread on that. <laughs> um, Ta da Got another piece of paper. I was going to try and do one without masking fluid. See what happens, shall we? Let's give it a go. <laughs> um, yeah, I might just use white ink over the top. I will add some white ink to the other one. 
Right. So let's do one. I'm not going to stick this down, so it's going to be which side is which? I think this is the side, yeah. I did cut it at a stupid angle. <laughs> right, let's do a um let's do one without masking fluid. And I'm gonna try and um so there's gonna be one here, one there. <laughs> it's gonna be weird. I'm gonna try and um leave the white bits. I'll probably end up liking this one better. I'm gonna try and leave white bits <laughs> places. I don't have to really worry about that because it's gonna be let me get the oh I'm mixing up a green here because this is oh Mr. Wibbly Wobbly brush has got far too much um see this is the sort of thing I mean I'm trying to do. <laughs> the there be stems. I'm just gonna I'll probably paint over the top of this, but it's sort of I'm just sort of getting the um composition-y stuff <laughs> there. <laughs> Let's put some more in. And I want it coming down to some gold. I'm going to paint over this bit, but you'll sort of still see the stems that I've painted, which is a good thing. <laughs> a bit more gold in here. It's mixing with the blue, so it's making a nice green. And I want it really light down here. That's pretty. I'm going to stick some bleach in. Just plonk it on. <laughs> Maybe I can bleach out. I've got some thick bleach here. I can bleach out the... Um, is that bleach? Yeah, it must be. Or is that the thick bleach? Oh, I don't know what I've done. I don't know what... This isn't bleach. This is um, something else. Soapy water, probably. <laughs> and I'm going to plonk in some... Um, what am I going to plonk on? I was going to plonk on something. Now I forgot what I was doing. Yeah, I was going to put. I wanted to put in some Indian red, but um, it's really almost gone. <laughs> I love this colour. I just like the way it um, granulates and see it's all get out. I'm going to stick my brush in there. Ooh, <laughs> just little bits here and there make it pretty. There's some look, nice granulation going on up the top there, which I love. <laughs> now my drawing ink is a um, water soluble one. So it's like water, black watercolour really. This is like, add some dark in here. Get my flippy floppy brush. Let's do some, um, ooh, some more stems. Ooh. It's all going to splodge in because it's really wet. I think I've sort of lost what I was doing. It looks a mess. <laughs> Stick a bit of salt on it and some alcohol drops, and then I'll add some white ink to it. See, it's buckling up. It's like a big buckly thing. Let's just do this. drip and see there's so much water on there it's all dripping so that, that's what I find people wonder why they can't their paintings don't turn out 
like mine, it's because you haven't used enough water. <laughs> and you can't be stingy with your pigment either. You don't like stingy pigment people. You have to use a lot of watercolour as well. And do finger painting. Um, I've got some white, this white calligraphy ink here. I'm just going to stick some in this. I thought it'd be fun to... It's got a bubble on it. Stick a bit on it. It's really thick. It's quite nice. And I'm going to finger paint. <laughs> Sorry, I'm not looking at the chat. <laughs> yeah, I wouldn't use a... Um, if you're using masking fluid, don't use a heat gun or hair dryer or anything because it you'll never get the masking fluid off, ever. It'll die. You'll have it on there. It just like sticks it. Right, let me see if I can make the um, hogweed tops with the white ink. I didn't... <laughs> I haven't done this before like this. So I usually use masking fluid. A lesson. It needs to be a bit drier, I think. But we'll just let that blodge in so you can see where they're going to be. That one's all right. There's going to be one there. <laughs> There's one here. <laughs> one here. Splodge, splodge. It just adds a little bit. It's quite nice, this. There's one here. And one here. Yuck. Yeah, it's starting to take shape. <laughs> There's always a moment where I think, oh my God, what have I done? But it's okay. It's getting there. I've got black pencil here. Or should I use a green one? I don't know. I wanted to do art. Because I'm not really drawing with the pencil. Well, I am in a way. I'm dragging the paint as well. So you will get to see the. If I blot out some areas as well, that might work. A bit of blotting. This paper is so... <laughs> you can hear, can't you, how um, crispy it is. Not crispy. Is it crispy? Oh, I don't know. Good words. I've got like a yellowy, light yellow pencil. It's not going to show up, but it's just sort of making a mark in the paper. The hogweeds. They grow so they look so lovely. I like them. <laughs> when this is dry, I can come back in with some more. And I was going to try and do some... Wibbly wobbly bits. Let me just make this darker. Making the top bit darker. Like that. A bit more contrast. Um I could use the white ink and see if I can do some... Ooh, the stems aren't white, but um, I was going to see see if this works. <laughs> With my clean water, that's not good, is it? And drip, drippy drops. <laughs> it's 
doing it. It's okay. It's going to look beautiful. <laughs> she says. Ignore that bit. <laughs> I'm going to take that off. It's distracting. I know it's distracting. I'm just going to add a bit more salt because it, I put it on when it was a bit wet. <coughs> Sorry. Cough. And I'm going to use the ink to splodge in sort of underneath. bits to make it look like it's don't know, to give it a bit of shadow. I'm not sure if that's worked. <laughs> oh no. You like wibbly wobbly brush. That's okay doing it now. It's a bit dark. <clears throat> Smaller brush, where did I put it? Just adding, sorry, I'm going to cough. <coughs> I'm just going to add some um, details so you can, so they're not just white splodges because they are sort of like every one of the little fairy bits. So I have to do one close up. And I'm like, oh, have a lunch. So, a, um, a tiny little flowers. It's so pretty. So I'm going to do some, take a deep breath as it's going to splodge everywhere. Yes, that worked. Good. Just add some random stems because they grow at like quirky angles they're quite cool they're quite majestic I'm gonna add some white up here when it's a bit drier it's getting there I'm going to keep playing with this one probably. It's like, yee. <laughs> this white works better when it is dry. See, look how much it's like a trampoline <laughs> springing up. See, so yeah, I can even come in with some white Posca pen <laughs> as soon as she gets excited. But it's really wet. I'm not sure if this one's going to be up to the job. Oh, yeah. this That works better, doesn't it? Yeah, I like that. I'm just putting like a pool of the, the stuff, the paint. <laughs> And a bit of finger painting. We like a bit of finger painting. It's a bit wet up there. Let me just block that because it's gone muddy. Oh, you sandpaper, you've just reminded me. <laughs> Here we go, sandpaper. I've got a blue, just picked up a blue one. 
this is I've got really fine grit sandpaper and it doesn't work as well just to add everything how can I forget I've got a white one actually that might be cool for the um, little flowers it'll probably soak up all the paint actually and not work would that be cool is that working I don't know it might not stick stick it has a bit I'm going to carry on with some Posca pen bits. I could like just go straight on there. Little dots. These aren't Posca pens, these are some cheaper STA acrylic painter marked on anything water based. It's water based. So if, anything, if something's water based, we can make that a watercolor. <laughs> I like this, I'm going to get carried away now. Just a warning. Don't like that squidgy bit there. Let's take it off. Splodge, splodge. <laughs> no, Sil's taking himself back to bed. <laughs> He's quiet today. He doesn't like the wind, and it's quite windy here. It scares him, and he... He follows me around everywhere normally when it's windy. Poor fella. Oh yeah, forget uniballs. I do my head in. <laughs> I'd rather just get a, a calligraphy pen thing and use white ink. It's just like, they just, they work really well when you first buy them, don't they? And then about 10 minutes later, they're like, nope. So you're getting out of me today. See, this is me getting carried away with the white bits, but it's looking quite nice, actually. <laughs> Thanks, Kate. You get worried, don't you? <laughs> There's always a stage in my paintings where I get worried. But I know that... If I keep going... They turn out okay. There, I'm going to stop there before I go like over the top. I really like this bit here, the dark bit. <laughs> right, that's one without the um, masking fluid. So tomorrow I will unveil. You can see me rubbing off the masking tape off the caddy paper, which is fun because it pulls off all the paper as well. But that's what I did on that other one. So, it's, it's, I like this, I like that it's got like a, I'm going to, um, well, I can't speak, I've just seen something I want to do, <laughs> just to make it, I want the really dark blue that I had, sort of going across, oops, I wanted to make like a definite, like horizon line. I don't know if this is going to work. Can you see? Probably 
messed it up now. Yeah, that's okay, it's worked. Da da! <laughs> Let's do it here. So it looks like it's in a field now, and you're looking, and then there's really dark, stormy skies. It's like a late summer, not a summer, midsummer, because there's a bare flower, sort of now. And you're looking through a field into the dark sky. And they're glowing in the sunlight that's shining. God, my... <laughs> that's what I think. <laughs> there. Finished it. It's going to dry and do lovely things whilst it's drying. That's why I don't use a hairdryer or anything on it. Just let it do its thing. And it's probably going to be springy. It'll probably dry like that. <laughs> Dying, be like <laughs> right enough of my silly talk <laughs> thanks for joining me everybody and i will tomorrow i'll do the um masking fluid thing because i keep saying <laughs> thanks for joining me have a lovely night evening day wherever you are <laughs> bye <laughs>